President Donald Trump is preparing an executive order targeting social media. He is also monitoring the ongoing violence in Minnesota that was sparked by the death of an unarmed black man being arrested by police. And he is giving his condolences to the nation, which has just lost more than 100,000 people to COVID-19. Correspondent Owen Jensen reports from the White House. Owen. Tracy, a very busy day here at the White House. The goal of that executive order curb liability protections for social media companies. White House Press Secretary Kelly McEnany discusses the Twitter controversy. Twitter's head of site integrity has tweeted that there are, quote, actual Nazis in the White House, and no fact check label was ever applied to this absolutely outrageous, offensive, and false claim. The president recently tweeted, there is no way, zero, that mail-in ballots will be anything less than substantially fraudulent. Twitter added an exclamation point with these words, get the facts about mail-in ballots. Any action the president takes will likely face legal challenges. Meanwhile, in Minneapolis, violent protests, looting, and fires triggered by the death of George Floyd, a black man gasping for breath during an arrest in which an officer kneeled on his neck. The feds say they're conducting, quote, a robust criminal investigation. And we're going to get a very full report, but a very sad day. And a somber milestone as more than 100,000 Americans have died due to COVID-19. Among them, the seat, the smile, the pose, the smile. Emilio De Palma, drafted at 18 from Massachusetts, a guard at Nuremberg, he fought the Germans on the front lines. One of the first things that happened to him was a bullet went right by him, just missed him. He described that the sound of that bullet was unforgettable. And more bad news for jobs. Roughly 2.1 million people applied for unemployment benefits last week. But first-time applications have fallen for eight straight weeks. Also on Twitter, President Trump extended his heartfelt sympathy to friends and family of those who've died due to COVID-19, saying, quote, God be with you. Tracy. Okay. Thank you, Owen. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reporting for us tonight. Thank you again.